There's a video called the mom tag that obviously you can't do with anybody else besides your mom. Uh, no, I don't want to do it. Why? What's the question ahead What of was I, number, question number one? What was I like as a child? You were better than you are now. What was I like as a child? Just this month. You were so funny. funny. I'm still funny. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm hilarious. Like, no, so you were funny. Fixed, everything is fine. You were... You were creative. I'm still you were both. Ver you were verbal. Still um, both. I don't think you understood reality. I think you took everything as face value, and you were very I impressionable. Why you were nice, but then Sorry, like, you, you got me. Okay. All those things now. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, question number two. I'm not answering no question. Question number two. You'll like this one. No, I'm not. Answering. You'll like this one. What do you think of me making YouTube videos? I don't like it. Why? Because it's too public. Okay. Question number three. What is something funny I did when I was younger? You were three years old and you were say. modeling <laughs> and you wanted to pee. And when you wanted to go pee, you looked at me in the audience and you says, I want to go pee. And everybody started to laugh and I was mortified because you were on a stage modeling saying, I want to go pee. Girls got to pee. <laughs> okay. And you were pointing down there and showing me you want to go pee. <laughs> Is that why? Then why were you shocked with what I just said I needed to do when I was on the trampoline? Because you're an adult now. <laughs> Three versus an adult. Okay. At your age, I had two children already, so you should be saying I'm working on it. Okay. Question number four. Have you learned anything about makeup or beauty from me? From you? Yeah. <laughs> no. I, no, 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 no. I mean, I think you do your makeup well, Thanks. but I remember not right last, now. <laughs> I remember the last time when you were doing eyelashes and you practiced on me. That was four hours, a four and a half hours, and I think I had three strands of lashes. That's when I was done. You said the first, well, just a couple of weeks ago, that your lashes are way longer now. Not because of anything you did. Not because, because of anything that I did, but could you imagine trying to apply anything on that microscopic lashes that you have? Never mind, but I think it was five or eight hours. No, it was not. It was three hours. Yes. Three hours, and I glued your eye shut. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. And then you were like, it's not the first time that this has happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Question number five. What is a weird habit of mine? I don't know. I don't have any. Uh, yeah, you do. You're too vocal. Um, What's the difference between, between vocal and verbal with you? A weird habit. I believe if somebody has to go to the bathroom, they're very private about it. <laughs> or when they have to do certain things... They act like a lady and they just disappear and then come back. They don't talk about what they have. Oh, I did number two and it's like this. I did number three and it's like that. You don't say what you're going to do. Real ladies do not say what they're going to do. They just disappear and come back and still be like a lady. You have to improve it. <laughs> All right. Question number six. If you had to rename your daughter, what would you name her? I don't know. I would obviously, I think. Obviously. I think I would read, I would go to the Bible <sighs> and take the Bible, the Bible character. Name? The song that I had was Twinkle Twinkle Little hey, Star, How I Wonder Scotia. What You Want. Dang. But now I would think something that I feel is corresponding with a bunny character. You didn't Scotia. give a name. Um, I would say a name more like Rebecca or something. Rebecca. 
No, Naomi is me. As so long much. as it's not Leah, we're good. No, Leah's not. <laughs> but she's she, always. She was. She was. She was uh, what did they say on the eyes? No, but she was. She had cross eyes. Uh, yeah, or yeah. What did they say about her eyes? She had weak eyes. <laughs> not weak eyes. She had a tender. Eye. But she also did the deceptive, right? Yeah. Because she passed herself off. But that's why I said Rebecca. Question number seven. If we were to go out to eat, what would I order? You'd probably order something that was sugary and fat. <laughs> a dessert. A dessert. Oh, I'm going to have some of that dessert on the bread. On Instagram all the time. <laughs> on Instagram I mean, all the time with a dessert. Exactly. Yeah. Sugary and fat. Yep. Which is bad for your health. Oh, what would you order? Something healthy, of course. Something healthy vegetarian. that you would need to like vegetarian that you'd need to like choke back with like no, gallons no, no, of water. No, no, no. <laughs> no. And by the time you get to my age, you won't even look half as good as me. Right? Because I probably look better than her now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right? Okay. Right? You, you gotta... Question number. <laughs> Yeah. Question number eight. What is one thing that you would wish wish I would do? Accept God in the universe. Well no, she does, but in her own way. Well, I, guess she knows. I wish she would take some time out for herself and get off YouTube <laughs> and the internet and just focus on private self. Growing. Okay. Yeah. Says the people that live huh? far, far away. What's that? Says the people that live far, far away. Yeah. Not far, far away. You're so far away. From where? Humanity. <laughs> um, okay. What's something, question number nine, what's something I, I do that annoys you? <laughs> Get out the, the list. What does she do that annoys me? I don't that fly is annoying. Post, that, post things on private things on Instagram. Yeah, post private information. I think that's what about it. Oh, pick up, pick up after herself. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Don't leave the bowl with cereal drippings for five hours later so it's hard. Do it instantly. This point when you're when you're your age, you might you can give an opinion, but really it's your life. Right? Yes. You have to make your own but decisions. could you imagine at her age, I had basically um, a six going on a seven year old, and if you leave a cereal bowl around, the child is copying that example. So you must have done that. <laughs> she just had bad habits on her own. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get to it. Ten hours later, it's still there. Right? Question number ten. What's something that I obsess over? Food! <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, I just finished saying like how every night I have a dream about... <laughs> okay, question number, number eleven. Where would you like to see me in ten years? You gotta know where you wanna go. Where would I like to see you? Uh, happily married. Yeah. If no, that's I, what yeah. you want, because I think that's what you want. But no, I don't think <laughs> I am truly children. happily married. Not j just finding your. Just married. No, no, no. doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just finding herself, making her life complete. Ah. And figure it out. Switch. Anyone in her life have to compliment. If somebody's not complimenting your life, don't let them into your life. Yeah. And make yourself complete without someone. Otherwise, if someone Unhappily doesn't Unhappily married is worse than single. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, you keep missing it. I'm not missing it. There's a fly it, on I, the roof and he I keeps missing it. I don't want to squish it. There you go, public. I don't want to squish it on the roof. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Yeah. No, you oh, keep missing God. it. And there's one in the bulb there. In that, in this one here, it's well, buzzing around. Yeah. All right.
Question number 12. When were you the most proud of me? I don't think about things like that. It's well, not, this is why I'm asking you. It's not proud and not proud. I'm always proud of my kids. It's when they do stupid things, then I'm not proud. So you'd have to do something stupid for me not to be proud. Otherwise, I'm basically all proud. I'm always proud. It's It's like... But I don't like public publicizing inf private information. And young folks don't know what's oh, private yeah. information. It's up there. Oh, there's a second guy. He's dead. There's two. He's dead. This one. Okay. Question number 13. What's the worst thing I've ever done? Huh. <laughs> you can say that one. Yeah. I'm sure you can figure that out. I don't know. I don't uh, keep score. Oh, uh, damn it. Mm -hmm. Stay where you are. <laughs> You're slow, man. I'm not slow. Do you want it squished on the ceiling? No. Wow. Okay, it. question number 14. What's your favorite uh, moment of us together? Got it. Before you learn to when talk. When we're out killing flies. And talk back. <laughs> I don't know. Specific. Um, I don't know. How about the trip to Grenada? Well, yeah. But, but that's like a broad thing. Wow. Like the trip to Grenada. There but was a time for a But was there weeks. one moment oh, on that yeah, trip that yeah, you were no, like no no Actually I think the favorite moment was at, at your granddad's birthday. No, no, no. Is, is it dancing. my story or is it yours? No. At my my granddad's birthday? Yeah, can I tell my story yeah, just Okay, if you can you can give your favorite memory or what you think her favorite memory is in a second. My favorite memory was when you went away, when I sent you guys away to Grenada, mm. you and your brother, and you did not know I was coming, and when I drove in into the in the van, <laughs> and you saw me in the van, and you started to cry, and I then I started I to that. cry, and you were just held onto my hand, <laughs> and you were you were running on the side of the van, and you held onto my hand, and you started to cry. <laughs> Making me cry now, but I don't. Up until it. that time, up until that time, <laughs> but then I think I can. up until that time, I don't think you, I didn't think you cared for me. But if you remember that time when the van was driving in and you held on, I stood up my hand and you held on to me running in the van and you started to cry. <laughs> that was the only time I thought. What did you think it was, Dean? But I wasn't there for that. Um, I came later, went early. Right. You but so no, you but what was the memory you were saying about dancing? It was the same time. You did not go to Berlin again. Oh, so then was the next. That was in 1990. That was in 1990. You only came one time I was there in Grenada. That, that was, in, yes, that was in 1998. 1998. It was your granddad's birthday. Done by Robin. Right, right. And everyone that was, was there. That was the time when you started to hold on to my arm. And, and the, what's his name, Robin, and his kids came, and you guys were dancing around. I think you guys put on like a little party. His 17th oh, yeah, birthday yeah. party. And you, you were like dressing up. Play. You were dressing up Raquel and Rene, uh, Raquel, the little one. Rennell is, is a little head. Right. Do you and, remember every night we had to chase out like 50 moths? Oh, and I then that moths. same time, yeah, that same time when you were so mean to Nicholas and you would pinch Nicholas, but after when you saw those dead people, <laughs> you, you would ask him to there. come into your bed. You were so scared. Yeah, I think that's why I, I that was a trip when Sam and Jennifer were there. That I, Mom, I've only been there three times. Okay. Once on my own, yeah. once with Nicholas when you guys came, and then once when Granddad died. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about the second time. So yeah, the second time is when I oh, saw those remember, dead people. Do you remember when Dean was chasing the cow and oh, running from the cow? No. Yeah. Okay, question number 15. How was I in school? <laughs> you were a bad student. You didn't pay attention. No, I could give you I could give you the line that sums up every report card. You can do better. No, that was Nicholas talking to him. No, it was like, 
No, it's like, like Nicole nothing. could do better if she applied herself. herself. Yeah. <laughs> that was like but what, the general comment in but every what has card. But what has changed? What has changed? I what has changed is I've learned my strengths and what to apply myself at. Well, that's not good enough. In life, you have to apply yourself. Exactly. Just like to. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm applying myself at things that I don't want to do, like today, learning about aperture and. But you could, be, you could be more dis You could be more disciplined. Oh, you can see. I mean, the people who succeed are the most disciplined. Mm. They're not necessarily. The but could you imagine if she totally. had, no, but or the not. most entertaining? Be, they might be smart. Do you know? Could you imagine if she was given the marshmallow and Nicholas was given the marshmallow? Hers would have been eaten <laughs> the moment the professor turned away. Really? I think so. I remember. I remember. If you waited 15 minutes, you get a second marshmallow. No, I think she would have. Do you remember? Eaten. I think it was a Barbie car that one Christmas. And each day I just looked a little bit more of the present on it. Do you remember that? Okay. I see. I wouldn't and do that kids, now. We would leave. She could leave them out, and mm -hmm. we wouldn't tell her. So yeah. We had to hide the presents from her. From her. That's funny. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't do that now, but I would do that back then. No, I would. I don't get. I anymore. I have a presence from what you gave me when you were thirteen. I can do and give it right now. Well, obviously that taught us right now. Might be so, but I was, I was still mad at you to open it. Good one. Yeah. Um. Okay, so question Dean number opened it last year. Question number sixteen. What would you change if you could raise me again? Oh, I would like that. I would homeschool you. I would, and like I would that. probably if I can't. If we were to do it over, we probably live out here in Hollingsworth. I can't say what if I was I, knew, I can't I say what today, I was gonna say. If I knew what I knew then today. No, I think the part I can say is I would not to be I don't want to sound mean, but I think I would choose a spouse probably. Uh, leave that, that, but that has nothing to do with raising them. Yeah. You know, that, no, that might be so, but I think that but one thing influences another. Be, <clears throat> no, but yeah. I, I, there you go. I, no, if, no, no, no. If I have so to you raise. Can't look at things no, if I have to. I was. Okay. At Nicole's age. That's I, what I always say is it would be me doing the. No, here. no, but Dean, what I'm saying okay. is, at her age, I got married, I would have been a 10 year old married person at her age almost. Yeah, so so I would have been much more married. mature. Yeah, but a lot of people in her age, age group, she definitely would have been. I would have been more mature and I would do I things. Most of my, my friends' her age as well. No, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but I'm, what I'm saying, I would be far more mature to make better decisions. Yeah. I would be a more of a, instead of being, I would be a more bullhead person. I would be more assertive and stronger and not be compromising. All right. That's what I would do differently. Okay, last question. And, oh, I would be selfish and keep my children to myself and don't share them with anybody. Okay, question number Describe my perfect type of guy. Your perfect type of guy? <laughs> just your face. You want a guy with a it's lot like of you, hair. You want a pasty face, balding with hair. No, what? she <laughs> doesn't. He's so rude. No, but you want a guy I with lots of it. hair so you could play with his hair. You told me that. No, I, I, he's I, like a guy typically with a lot of hair. But. But is he the perfect guy going to be? You know, oh, okay. Let me. Okay, Thank let me, you. Be so. Like, let me start over. Let me start well, over. No, no, no. I'm being serious yeah. now. I think the perfect type of guy that I would want for her, never mind what she wants. Well, that's not the question. Oh, what's the question? The question is, what do you think is the per what is do you think is her perfect guy? Describe my perfect type of guy. Okay. Well, I don't know if I can describe that, but um. That's uh, too. It might be the same thing. I think a guy that could lead the relationship, a guy that 
knows what he wants in life and a guy that can foresee how you two can make a life together so you can be complimentary. Um, a guy that is no good for you, zero, no good, is if he doesn't know what he wants in life and doesn't, doesn't um, I feel like, okay, so have I, leadership abilities. I feel like that's a very generalization of like what any mom would want for her daughter. But I work hard on that question. Okay, but I was talking about what do you think like the perfect guy for me is like? Do you think that he is going to be... Do you think the guy for me is going to be a strong but silent type? No! He can't can't be! You know, you told me this story back then. When you did your thing, she she said you could have someone who was older than you are and who was strong-willed. Not strong-willed, but they both were not stubborn. But a guy who knows what he wants and who is assertive Assertive. and could know, basically, if he's not insecure, he can compliment you. You can be good at what you do. He can be good at what he does, and you guys could come together. But if it's a guy that is just trying to find himself and doesn't know where he's going, I think you're opinionated, or if you are strong will, you need someone who's going to tell you when you're wrong. Because if someone just goes along, oh, that's okay, then really you're just saying everything you're doing is fine. You need someone who's going to realize And you, right? And because I'm so. Because you're not mamby pamby. Exactly. Yeah. You need someone who's going to speak up and say, yeah. you know what, you're wrong this time. Yeah. But that when you person, are, and when you're not supposed to. But it's not even only that. The person that has to be assertive in who they are. If yeah. they're not assertive in who they are, yeah. you can't they're going to be intimidated yeah, you by can't her. Have a, you need someone of a unique character. Mm-hmm. Someone, with someone along with someone with strong character. But not a stubborn, not stubborn bullheaded not person. Yeah. Because it's going to be, if, not, if it's a stubborn not stubborn moment, not then they're going to be two bones in a tiny shop, which will be a lot of splinters. I think that was her last situation. Yeah, but you don't want someone who's both of those. Okay. You, you need a real man. Not a person that, not a person that is the weakie. I wonder what good it comes from that. But eventually you can build a team if you trust the person you're in with, right? So if you tell me, no, I, I can do that because I, I generally... But that trust. was the thing in my last situation where... It, you know you're not fighting each other. You're yeah. It to the other person well, because I might, he might have known what he was talking about, but because he didn't walk that out in his day-to-day life, it made me question him in his... Mm-hmm. his suggestions or suggestions. judgments and stuff and then like he felt very disrespected because I would always go to my dad for everything but when he wasn't showing good leadership skills <laughs> but it's the same flyer yeah. oh. but then yeah a person though in relationship they have to be able to have foresight there is times when you see something is going to a collision course you basically have to be able to see where is this going to end up. What if I win the argument and the war is lost? Then, in the same time, what does it matter? A, a marriage relationship or a dating relationship is not about a win and lose. At the end of the day, they both should win. So, I, I think people in relationship think, well, if I win, he loses. And, what about the both being complementary? Right, that's what I do. You're, you're forcing the class. Yeah. Hmm? What did you say? You're forcing the tie. So if, if you're married, what if something's bad for her is bad for oh, you? Oh, so no, because a lot of times in a relationship, people think, well, oh, I get my way, or he gets his way. It, it's not about that. It's about, at the end of it, Having that balanced relationship, in the moment you could feel like you're going to send the person to the moon, but then you have to look back and say, um, how do we balance it? Like, Dean does not like to cook, right? For 25 years I've been trying to teach him how to cook. 
and he hasn't learned one single thing that can keep regressing. But that's not true. I do help. Okay, you help, but I'm saying I would like you to initiate. But you take five things. Uh, I clean as I go. So, but my point is, I'm trying to make a point. Let me make my point. If you're not going to cook, mm -hmm. or you don't learn how to cook, mm -hmm. or you get a failing grade when it comes to cooking. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a chicken on the highway, I give him an at eleven out of ten. So then, therefore, because he's driving, he's my hero. Drive. No, what, because, what about taking out the mic? I can take out the mic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Because, no, because yeah, right. Better learn to take out mics. Because, they have mics a lot of mics there. In Grenada? Yeah. No, in oh, England, yeah. and they have the big fat ones that will attack okay. the kids. I'm, I'm not taking it out. I know someone else who will be. But they have a uh, masculine. The the mice are, the mice whatever they they're called they're masculine and they're probably big. Can you imagine an English mice? Should do what we did. 